today we've got an upgrade going on for the camera trailer. It's a 2000 watt inverter uh, from Kikar, as you can see here. The reason we're going for the 2000 watt as opposed to the 1200 watt, for example, is because we've got some electrical appliances that we want to use uh, off grid that we haven't been able to use at the moment. Basically, the things we have been using while we, you know, in a caravan park parked up somewhere with power, uh, we haven't been able to use those on um, our bush at the end of the day. Um, these are little luxuries, but uh, we'll go through that in a bit, a bit more detail uh, coming up. Um, but anyway, let's get into it. Pretty excited. Uh, what I will say as well, um, so how would you find this? You, so just jump on Kickass's website. Right, so let's open this thing up and let's have a look, eh? Cables and fuses. Now this thing here, I'll go through once I get it all out. I'll tell you a bit more about it. All right, she's a big boy. So for anyone who isn't aware of what one of these things do is, um, it converts uh, 12 volt power, which is what the, the camper trailer set up to do, um, into 240 watts. So, so as you can see on the side here, we've got the two sockets here, um, which are perfect on off switch. So this is the connection here to the digital control panel. And I've got a couple of USBs there as well. Okay, and as you can see here on the screen, so it's got a digital screen here to tell you what's going on. However, and where I'm actually looking to put, put this is a reason that I need this thing here. Now that's the car to plug in. Uh, not sure how many meters there. It looks like it's long enough to be able to run it to where you need to run it to. There we go. So what I can do is, with this one here, because it's going to go in vertically, and where it's going to go, I'm not going to be able to see that screen at all. But that's why they supply this one here. So this one here, I can actually put it in. I can run it with this where, wherever I need to run it to, basically, and uh, and get it into a spot there um, where I can actually see it, and I know what's going on. I'm keeping on. Uh, the batteries. Sticking hot day here today. I've got the fan going here, which is the buzzing you might, you might be hearing, but uh, apologies for that. But um, I just need it on because it's stinking. Why do we need one of these uh, when you're going off grid? Is it camping? Yeah, why not? The truth is, we want to be able to camp and you know and be able to save money. So if we can take, you know, little little electronics like toasters, sandwich makers, air fries, means we can load up the fridge. Allows us to you know to eat cheap. Um, but also, you know, sometimes you're traveling and driving all day. We set up camp and you can't be buggered. At the end of the day, the, money, the goal is to try and save money with everything we do. Uh, well, it's a bit of an investment uh, at the moment. Over like long term, uh, it's definitely going to save us money. It's definitely going to make our life easier, that's for sure. Especially having young kids. Um, anyway, anyone who's got kids, you'll understand exactly what I mean. But anyway, uh, we'll get into trying to put this thing in. We're going to... Um, I'm going to rip up all the seats here in the moment and uh, I'll get the one that's in there um, that's out and uh, we'll, uh, we'll get cracking on this one. Alright, so I'm ready to wire this thing up now. Um, you don't have to be a bloody genius to know that it's bloody hot in WA at the moment. Um, yeah, it's around 4 degrees and I'm trying not to sweat all, sweat all over the bloody uh, the electrical gear here. So I've got a towel trying to cover most things up but um, Right now, I'm going to show you how easy it is to plug this thing in. It's literally just a case of plugging in a, you know, a positive and a negative, and uh, off you go. So here we go. We'll do that now. We'll um, and then we'll give it a quick shot, uh, and we'll try and power it up, and then, and then from there, I'll see. I'm just going to fix it into the side here. So if anyone who's got a Robson would know that uh, something like this is way too big to to put in uh, where the other one goes, which is obviously in there but what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna chuck him down on the sidewall here um, again screw points are there and there and I should be able to fix it about there somewhere and about about there somewhere right oh let's get him uh, let's get him bloody plugged in and we'll see if it works first and uh, first thing is make sure you got your bloody power turned off so you don't electrocute yourself 
which is what I've done. Unfortunately, turning the power off means I had to turn the bloody fan off, uh, which wasn't great, but hey, that's uh, not much you can do. Here we go, let's get it up. I could have grabbed a longer bloody screwdriver, hey, but I grabbed a short one because of the space I'm in. Alright, so now we've got him plugged in, now I can turn the power on and means I can turn the bloody fan on, which is going to be fantastic. Alright, so just to give you an idea of how easy this should be, we'll find out in a sec um, if I bug it up, but I'm not an auto electrician. Uh, my electrical uh, knowledge is basic, uh, and that's been kind. But, hey, we're going to do this together. If it blows up, it blows up, but... In theory, it should be pretty easy. And hey, if I can do it, um, just shows anyone can bloody do it. But uh, let's uh, let's turn this thing on and have a crack at it. Eh? It's got the power switch there, so in the middle is off. Uh, number two is for the the remote screen, which I'll show you in a bit. And I'll see the other ones on. So let's uh, let's flick him on and let's see what happens. Right. We're all good. All right, let's turn this thing on. There we go, how cool is that? So that's the voltage uh, in the batteries. So basically, uh, so basically I've got um, two batteries in the camper here. I've got 220 amp hour batteries, uh, which is um, generally a recommendation for uh, 2000 watt inverter, you know, if you got, um, yeah, so if you've got like a, a, a 1200 watt inverter, generally find a uh, 100 amp, 120 amp hour battery will do the trick for you. But having a, a big boy like this, um, it is recommended two batteries. All right, so this is a tent number three, uh, GoPro overheated again, uh, and it's likely going to happen again. Um, there's no days under 36, 37, 38. Uh, or 40 degrees coming up anytime soon so I'm just gonna have to bloody live with it so what I'll do now is actually now that I actually know it's working uh, and again um, it's recommended that you use the the cables that are supplied with the inverter as well because they're the correct gauge uh, last thing I do is use lighter gauge wire wires or wiring um, and cause you and do yourself a mischief and blow the bloody thing up because that'd be a shame so use the gauge uh, they supply, um, and again, pretty simple. It's just that, just the positive and negative, nice and simple, and the inverter does the rest of it. I'm going to plug in, I'm going to get him fitted in there now, and then I'm also going to plug in the remote control, and then we're going to do a quick test with, uh, I think we're going to try a sandwich maker first, and then we're going to, we might try something else after that. And, We'll see how it goes and again i'm interested to see how the inverter choose the battery and how you know how the readings work out as well so we we'll, you know we'll see how this works out together all right so it's time to start doing some demos now um we're going to start off with this hair straightener here. How do I do that? Right, moving on. We're going to try and do a, um, a little toast of sandwich here now. Yeah. Oh, yep, yeah, that's definitely getting hot enough. Alright, so she's been there for six minutes. Let's have a look, eh? Hey? <whistles> bloody hot. I'll have a go with that in a sec. This is a uh, 1200 watt um, toaster machine. So uh, that's been running for six minutes. Um, so I've done it no problems at all. I'll smash that down in a sec and I'm going to try a 1500 watt air fryer in a sec. Might try some chippies and nuggets and uh, let's see how that goes, eh? All right, so 1500 watt air fryer here. Disclaimer, 
I probably shouldn't try this, even though it's a 2000 watt inverter and it's been 1500 watts. The thing to remember is if you're running uh, appliances with motors, they have a big power draw on startup. Now, depends on who you, who you talk to, but the common um, thought is about twice the power is what it used on draw. This isn't, a, I'm not running this off a 3000 watt inverter, okay? So if it's gonna blow it up, it's gonna be great viewing for you, but uh, I don't know, I just got faith in this thing. Um, I reckon it'll handle it. And... Anyway, let's give it a bell. So I've got some chibis and nuggets here. It's around dinner time here now, so we'll chuck these on for the kids and let's see how this uh, this gets on, eh? Could be interesting. Um, and I will add as well, this is literally just after the... Um, the demo I did before. I haven't waited, so basically it's... I've got the panel here to watch, because it's actually interesting to, to watch the power draw uh, on on this when the appliance is actually running. Um, four nuggets will do. Okay, so while that's actually uh, using the battery, you can see the, the draw on the battery in regards to voltage, but um, as soon as it stops running, the battery goes up and Remember, electronics like this are only designed to be used um, for short periods of time. Just remember that as well. You know, I mean, you should be running these things for half an hour, an hour, those types of things. Again, just keep an eye on what it is and, um, you know, hey, that's where these bloody meters come in handy. Let you know what's going on, so, here we go. Come on there, I think eight minutes should do it. Wait. All right, check back in a bit when it cooks. Right, let's have a bloody look, eh? That would be a good idea about now is for bloody tongs, let me tell you. Now, oh, go another two. Go another two minutes. See how they went, eh? Yeah. Bloody beautiful. Get a bit of bloody tomato sauce in there. There you go. I won't have a crack at this just yet. It's a bit bloody hot. Will I? Bloody beautiful. So there you go. Yeah, toaster machine, I was pretty confident it was going to work, but the air fryer, I wasn't really sure about given the, the startup draw power, but I worked the trade, so hey, really stoked with it. So the 2000 watt kick ass and inverter, I'll chuck the link to the website in the description. Uh, you can see why we didn't go for the 1200 watt, um, as tempting as it was, but no, pretty happy with the 2000, it gives us a lot more options, that's that's for sure. So, so I've been getting a lot of questions about gear we use, what we run, now clearly, this was just something I was a bit excited to tell you about because um, it's an upgrade you know, it's a new bit of gear for us yeah so any gear that we run use or you've seen us using in videos here and there let us know and uh, we can give you a run through um, you know, very happy to do so as we you know you know there's obviously a lot of you um, that have been telling me um, you're just starting a big lap or you're planning to do it you know planning to do a lap of your own pretty soon so yeah, let us know in the comments. Like the video, it helps to get around and subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you like what you're seeing, hey, if you're new, um, yeah, jump jump along for the ride. There's uh, plenty more coming up, that's for sure. So I enjoyed that. It was uh, pretty interesting for me to, to see how that went. Never really played around with much with inverter before. The one we've got, just use it for drones and um, charge a laptop and that's it. So, yeah, we'll see how we go. We'll, um, we'll definitely give it a good run in uh, future videos as well. So keep your eyes peeled for that. So... That's it. Thanks for watching. I'm Diesel for Getting Around Oz, Camper Trailer Traveling. We'll see you next week. Hooray.